Hey troops, what's going on? Gen Did Commando here and welcome to the channel. So today guys, we have got the second episode of Krig for Fred, which is the Swedish Afghanistan documentary that we've been reacting to, okay? Really looking forward to seeing the rest of these documentary um, episodes because we had a great response from it guys. And as always from Sweden, we get much love from you guys. So I'd just like to say thank you for stopping by and participating in the comments section and enjoying it guys you know it's a pl absolute pleasure for me to react to these series so i'm really glad that you're all on board with it but anyway without further ado let's get straight into it right before you guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already guys please 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 just subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content and also Join the Discord. The link is in the description for the Discord, guys. We've got a fantastic community on there. And if you want to recommend anything to me um, in terms of video recommendations or just have a chat, that's the place to do it, troops, okay? I want to give a special th uh, thank you to all of our Twitch subscribers as well. We've got quite a few now, and I'm going to explain why in a second, okay? Um, Twitch, we go live every night on Twitch. We either play games or we just chat. So myself, I'm a former Royal Marines commando, for those that don't know. Um, we don't just play games on there. We offer advice and things like that as well, and guidance, if you, especially if you join the military, guys. And, yeah, drop us a follow on there if you fancy, guys. The links is in the description. And a, and a very special, I want to I give a thank you to this individual, all right? He never fails to impress all of us on the Twitch channel, all right? He's donated something close to 36 subscribers now. Um, Oak84, alright, is his um, alias, is what he goes by. Oak84 is on Discord, he's on YouTube, and he's on the uh, Twitch channel, guys. He's such a generous, wonderful person, and without him, we wouldn't have as many Twitch subscribers. And his main reason, what he said was, and he actually said this, <coughs> excuse me, is that he hopes that people come back to the channel and subscribes thereafter, so he wants to give them a helping hand. Now, guys... You know, I'm not even bothered if this negatively affects the videos, if people drop off here. I just want to give you a, a massive shout out, bro, and say thank you because what a wonderful thing to do. All right, that is selfless. That is really selfless. And thank you, buddy. And I, everyone wish him, wish him well in the live chat, guys, as well. Okay? okay. But there's loads of other people doing lovely things on the channel as well. And this is a personal thank you to you guys. But that's enough of me yapping. Let's just get straight into the video. I look forward to chatting to you all live tonight anywhere whilst we're on Twitch. But enjoy, troops. Here we go. Here we go. So these episodes have been fantastic, guys. All right, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you've got to make sure that them vehicles are filled up every time you go out. You don't want to get caught out. That's fine. Hi. Okay, so how are you guys doing? Very good. Good. All right. You remember Henk, yeah, the platoon commander, right? Salam alaikum. Henrik. So, uh, how are things in uh, in the area? Is it, is it calm? Is it calm? Yeah. Have you been in inside the village lately? No. We can't invite you for a little patrol in the village then? 
حالا دیگه اورا ما بدون ادعات جای رسانه تا که ما کلانای ما فعلا در جلسه است که میگه و فیصله شان که خصوصا مربوطی ورسوالی میشه مربوطی نظمی میشه تا که فیصله شان فیصله شد بعد از اون ما تصمیم خیلی کلانا میگن که ما برین یا نه وی اندرستاند وی اندرستاند نو پرابلم کیپ اسکینگ ایم اف یو ار ایبل تو گو دو بیکاز آی تینک دا دا پریویس گایز دت ور هیر دت ور پترولینگ وید وی هاد گریت سکسس اوکی اوف وی گو آر so the thing I like about the Swedes is they've got a great mannerism about them, all right? And I've um, had the privilege of speaking to many of you guys um, of recent. And, um, yeah, a couple of, I don't want to mention any names for privacy reasons. But, yeah, I've actually, you know, been speaking a lot to Jäger Soldats and, and stuff like that. I've been gaming with one or two of you guys as well. And you've got a wonderful, wonderful um, attitude towards most things that you do, I've found, and that translates into your military careers as well. Always very positive people, and I think that's the type of people that you need in these situations, guys. Positive, well-spoken individuals, and we're only seeing that on here, um, and I, I love that. I love that in the Swedes, and yeah, I think that's definitely one of your positive and pro points for your military having a positive outlook on things. And uh, that's the only way you can get people on board as well. So the Afghans that they're talking to there, they're talking to them with humility um, and respect. No matter, They're not taking any judgment. They're not judging these individuals. And can you imagine if everyone did that over there? You know, you definitely have uh, uh, everyone on board, you know, without getting too political. It's um, they're treating each other like human beings. That's the most important thing. Hello. Take care. Uh, det som händer nu är att vi kommer genomföra en patrull själva utan uh, de här poliserna. Det är ju... So they didn't even get the result that they wanted which was to get the Afghan national police on board with them but still positive, still nice, still treating them with respect and dignity, okay guys? They, they understand I think from the start that they're not going to change this place with one tour or two tours. This is a long term thing. Det är för det är ju ANP som ska patrullera och kunna ta över säkerheten på sikt i det här landet. Så någon gång måste de ju börja, så varje gång vi måste göra det jobbet som de är tänkta att göra i framtiden så är det ju dåligt. War for peace, yes. Love this series. If you love this series too, please smash the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. It really does help us grow, guys. Thank you. Bravo, folks. Bravo for Quebec. We can continue to fight for the streets of Folks, bravo one far out. Close up. NVGs. Ja, det är ungefär 30 minuter sedan som vi fick ett meddelande om att det fanns 8-12 insurgenter beväpnade med en sen tidigare känd talibanledare. De har någon typ av möte på innergården. Right, so it looks like they're either doing a bit of a nighttime reconnaissance mission or potentially an attack on this area to, to compromise that meeting from taking place. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. I'd imagine it'll probably just be a recce because there doesn't seem to be too many of them and they look like they're carrying um, next to nothing. So light, ready to fight is the motto here. Yeah, probably the reconnaissance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair one. Don't hit the trees, guys. That's them. Hands are getting sweaty, troops. Yeah, they got the heavy machine guns out. Or is that an LMG or a GPMG variant? Short Barrel. barrel. LMG. Det ser ut som det är eh, mer än 8 till 12. Det är nog ett 20 tal eh, individer som har samlat precis i det området som vi har eh, fått underrättelser om att de här talbanorna finns. Kostbar var fram mot eh, i västra längs med muren, eller mot porten. 
Där, av sticken. Got the UAV in the air. Ja, det verkar inte som att eh, motståndaren avser att ta upp striden med oss. Han flyr eh, i flera olika riktningar och inte grupperar i något förband nu. Sannolikt så använder de någon typ av observation mot den här platsen och så fort vi framrycker härifrån då är det någon som varnar talibanerna som flyr. Ja, yeah, 100% de kommer att använda dickers i området. Dickers, in, I don't know if they use the same terminology or slang in Sweden, um, but dickers when they got someone who's normally got a phone on the end of his hand and he's, um, you know, he's obviously letting letting people know what the situation is on the ground, okay guys, and informing people of potential um, forces coming in bound to compromise whatever. So 100% they've got observations on this, 100%. Ja, det är inte så jävla lätt att säga, men vi gör ett försök här. Eh, varför vi stannar och går bakåt är för att ska vi få ut någonting mer av detta så behöver vi gå in. Och eh, ganska så omgående så fick eh, Jocke på raden att ja, de, de rörde på sig. Och det gör vi inte med de här frågorna. Det är kunna se att eh, man kan se liksom om motståndaren är i, ja, i eldställning eller på väg att ta eldställning. Jag kunde ge den förvarning i så fall, nu blev det inte så, men ja, det känns bra. Bra jobb. Ja, yeah, good point. You don't want to be waiting anybody, anywhere. Kullen if... ligger fyra mil. You know, if obviously you're not getting notified that the enemy is potentially taking up fire positions, the, the guys around you, their situational awareness is... Uh... Is, is less than that of the commander who knows the information so it's important to pass that information on always even if you don't feel it's too pertinent to the operation it could be to someone Bil väster om svenskarnas huvudbas Av de 500 svenska soldaterna är det alltid en skyttepluton på 30 soldater som är stationerade på kullen Deras uppdrag är att stötta den lokala polisen Byborna ska skyddas mot kriminella och talibaner som finns i de utsatta byarna runt kullen. So 30 people guys um, just just above a troop strength all right three four sections at a push of fighting men. Not a lot of people for an area as big as that guys. Och jag checkat för det kort. Eh vi har fått i uppgift att uh, framrycka från kullen. Spaningsfrågor. Har folk hört talas om att insurg insurgenterna har kommit tillbaka till byn? Eller har de varit här hela tiden? Blir de på nytt hotade? Krävs de på pengar eller någon form av skatt? Igen. En grupp kommer vara grupperad på kullen. Över tiden. Försvara kullen. Bra. 30 minuter framåt. Det är de boysen som är På patrull. I staggad fil. We are from the, the Swedish ISA. I hope you know that by now. <laughs> yeah, actually I know about your presence here. The Swedish Armed Forces are present in our area here. Yeah? How do you feel about that? Have you had any problems lately with uh, uh, people uh, demanding uh, taxes or uh, threatening you in, other, in, other, in any other way? 
Okay, no problems with the security whatsoever? So in, in England we class this, uh, what they're doing now is hearts and minds, okay? And it is what it sounds like, okay? It's, uh, it's gaining the hearts and getting into the minds of the locals in a positive way, guys, to be able to have a positive influence on them. Without their trust, you're not going to be able to gain information. And without information in this area, missions don't succeed. So it's very, very important to, um, to positively affect hearts and minds, okay? And uh, that's what the guys are doing on the ground now to what seems to be good effect. Yeah, okay. Okay. He's asking you on that on that hill there, on that side. Yeah. yeah, we're up on the hill. Oh. Oh. And you're welcome to come and visit us at the hill if you want to. Okay. Such a different life, guys, these individuals live, you know, completely different to where we live in, um, in especially in the United Kingdom, okay? And to really grasp the, the, the differences culturally, I guess you could only really do that effectively by having the opportunity to visit these places, albeit via a deployment operationally with the military or as a civilian. And I guess in the chances to do that as a civilian are, are few and far between. Jag har problem med Fogstad, Eko, korta dag, Richard, vad har vi fått? Allt är super då bra. Allt är jättebra? Allt är jättebra, vi är jättebra, läget är jättebra, det är super, det är super bra. Allting är jättebra. Jep. The shooting. I området runt kullen pågår en operation med afghanska militären ANA och polisen ANP där byarna genomsöks efter talibaner och kriminella. Svenska soldaterna vet om att det pågår en operation men vet inte när eller var de kommer att slå till. I vanliga fall ska de hjälpa till men inte den här gången. Vi har inga direkta uppgifter kopplade mot detta för tillfället utan vi ska vara beredda att understödja. Ana. Och för närvarande så vill de inte ha något understöd. Snacka. Nu där, när jag stod i norra Värnet och äh. kikade ut så kryllade de av svartklädda människor i form liknande AMP mm. som gick in mot Alisai. AMP? Ja, de alltså var ju svartklädda. Ja. Äh. Säkert 25 stycken. Är det något som händer där? Det är det som är pågår. AMP vet fan. Ana vet du. Jag ska kolla då. Vi har sett nu att eh, ett antal poliser i området och eh, det är de poliserna som ingår i eh, den här sökoperationen som både eh, polisen och armén är inblandade i. Men vi visste inte att de eh, skulle vara här nu och därför blev jag lite konfunderade. Men eh, sen är det alltså att polisen själva de vet i vilka hus där de kriminella och insurgenterna bor och det är inte alltid att... Eh, att de väljer att söka där de vet att det finns eh, kriminella eller talibaner eller liknande. Vi hoppas att de söker det som vi var, där vi var här omkväll. Okej, okay, så so shots har been fired now guys. Maybe it's a bit of action, I'm not sure. We'll find out. If you're liking the video so far though, troops, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Vad kan det vara alltså? 30-50 skott sammanlagt? Ja, inte mer än ett magasin tror jag. Det sitter en man ner och de riktar vapen mot honom. 
Blir han träffad? Han får ligga där och vinkar. Ja, uh, eventuellt så har han blivit träffad av någonting. Hey, what's going on here? Men det står han inte, för de har skjutit hit åt också, så att står han inte här som en uh, vägg av kött. Maybe it's an assassination or something went on within the local villages or something, I'm not sure. De är kvar där ute med honom va, det är den lilla samlingen där med fem pers. Ja. Se till så att Ståhl rapporterar in det. Jo, han är, han är på... Sitter han kvar, han är en grip med. Sitter han kvar där ute på fältet med dem? Eller om har flyttat honom? Mm. Ganska sjuk reaktion på civilbefolkningen. Han fortsätter hacka. Ja, ja. Mm. Ja, det är bra. Där får du på tanken. Eh, berömt polisen som har eh, gripit någon. Ni som inte behövs eh, här nu fortsätter med jobbet. Vi fortsätter de andra postvarna. Du kan vara kvar. Ni har koll på, eh, koll på vad som händer. Och eh, kolla vad de gör med honom som de har gripit. Så fortsätter vi med resten. Ja, det är lite frustrerande om man får sitta kvar här. So it looks like they obviously the police have arrested a man, let a couple of shots off, whether they've done that to intimidate him or they've actually killed someone or what different rules over there guys, okay, than what we're used to. Um yeah, it must be frustrating for these troops as well. They're very restricted in terms of what they're allowed to do under card alpha as well, okay. Unless a pertinent threat is um is is coming towards them then they can't really react upon that, okay. Jag har gett förslag på att vi kan göra saker, men vi får inte. Unless something else is happening now, 20 minutes later. Kommer hela byn här nere. Så everyone's out now. Har ni folk som ni kan uh, bemanna det värmet? Kan det? Under det här samverkan om det nu skulle spåra kind of ja. Eller en kulspruta för de är här nere. Jag får ner och snacka med. Mm. Kan du äh, hämta tolken, Fredrik? Ska jag ta på mig? Jag tar med någon från äh, golf där ute. Ja, det har något hänt, guys. Det har något hänt i villagen, obviously. Om det inte eskalerar negativt för de svenska trupperna på grund här. Vi får se. Jag hoppas inte. Okay, uh, something happened out here. And, uh, right, so they weren't police. They were mistaken as police, I'm gathering. This guy's just spilling the gens on, on everyone and going, no, listen, it weren't the police, it was militia. And they don't know where they arrived from. That would have been very different if the Swedes knew that as well. All right, if they had information on the ground to say that that was the case, something probably would have happened as a result.
No. Who are the persons now he is injured? Yeah, we ain't sure. We know that it's uh, the police that's been doing the operation. Uh, and exactly what has happened, we don't know at the moment. Uh, Wait, it's a confusion if it was police or militia. They're saying it's police, but they're acting in a militia way. Um, whether or not the police are on an operation and that was them and they were doing official, an official operation to get an individual and they shot him, that is yet to be determined, guys. From what I'm reading in the translations, I'm not, I'm still not fully understanding what's going on like. You are for one year Swedish forces and here on the hill. But always we are proud of them that always brought security and take our secu took our security and just sometimes uh, ask and inquire some problem that we have. Unfortunately, they, they, all of them that you can see okay, can hear okay, just Okay, interpreter. Yeah. Please uh, be an interpreter and not a politician. Okay. We understand the message. Please yeah. just interpret what, yes. what they're saying. Okay. At the moment, we are not a part. I like I like what he said there. Yeah, I like that. He's he's put him in his place a little bit. I think the guy was obviously interpreting things to fit his own agenda. Maybe he's a little bit there. He was definitely over expanding on some of the things that was being said, um, based on the on the translations anyway. But he was talking an awful lot and I think the Swedish individual gathered that, yeah, well, not much was being said, but you're saying an awful lot through the interpretation, so don't be a politician um, being interpreted. I like that he's put him in his place there so he can get a better understanding of what's going on. Part of this operation. So um, what exactly what they have done and why, I cannot give you that answer because I don't know myself. Okay, so they don't want the air near there. They haven't got the Afghan National Army on side, which is not a good place for stability troops. All right, they need to be on side. We also get ready yeah, to leave here permanent if replace of you Afghan National Army staying on the hill. But we are staying, we are happy to take you, you brought security for us. But if, <laughs> if you're a So they don't like the way we reacted when there was a firefight going on? Is that the issue? Just about the police, yeah. Yeah, the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're angry about the police. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but if you want to see the persons that uh, the uh, police have arrested, you should talk to the police, because we don't know these people. Okay. Well, I would like to thank you anyway. I'm looking forward to the cooperation. Not much has uh, been achieved there, troops. The translators probably 
not stirred it a little bit, but yeah, he hasn't he hasn't had too much of a positive impact on that. At the end of the day, he should have just been translating what the villagers were saying. But um, he added a little bit more than that, guys. What do you think of that situation there? Let me know in the comments. Okay, always, I'm really nice to see you again. Okay, okay. Hey, you you call. Okay, Take you care, call. I'm really All right. What if we get up? De var lucky luck på sin egen polis. <laughs> Okej. Okay. Nej, inte på oss. De var förbannade på sin egen polis och ja, med hur de kunde bete sig på det här viset. Okej. Okay. Ja, återigen, de måste ju kunna lära sig klaga på sina egna instanser. Polisen i det här fallet. För det är ju det är de som ska sköta säkerheten i det här landet på lång sikt. Yeah, it's, that's probably as easy said than done though. If the police are doing things as such, taking villagers and shooting them in inhumane ways and the villagers don't agree with it, you wouldn't really be feel comfortable to complain to them police, would you? I, I wouldn't anyway, guys, and I can see the I can see the circle problem here. Who do you actually go to? So maybe too many chiefs in this area. You've got the Swedish you've got the ANA, you've got the police. You've got the Taliban, you've got corrupt versions of, of a few of those as well. It's a tough one, guys. Security is so unstable there. So, the misnöjet får kanaliseras via deras egen polis, och inte via oss. Skicka in det. Visst är det en situation, om man ser det ur polisens ögon som kräver att de agerar, då får vi anta att de har gjort rätt. Så det är, det är lite synd att folket har ett lågt förtroende, men det, det försöker vi... Stödet för regeringen i området är redan svagt. Nu finns det risk att talibanerna utnyttjar situationen. För att förhindra att propaganda sprids runt kullen måste de göra något. Psyops. Okej, okay, let's go. My name is Philip and I represent my boss at our main camp and I have some uh, news for you. The reason that the police have been here and been shooting was because there's a, a major operation in the area where they're trying to find uh, the enemies of Afghanistan in this area. And I understand that you were annoyed. But the reason was that they were trying to arrest some, some people. Well, I was talking to the chief of police uh, myself and he told me that he uh, uh, killed some insurgents and arrested some. We work with to inform the people and to try to influence the people in a right way. And the camp is not like in many times in the war on terrain. It is not of strands. I Frankrike, det består inte av broar i Holland utan kampen. Det består av att vinna befolkningen till sin sida av saken. Och på den sidan som Sverige har valt, där står en demokratisk vald regering. Och de försöker så gott de kan att tillämpa mänskliga rättigheter. Men nu är det en ny stat och det tar tid innan allt fungerar felfritt. Jag har brått lite nyheter från Afghanistan, om du är intresserad, om du vill. Så, tack så mycket för det tid. Tough guys, you gotta be politically neutral in this situation because politics isn't always the right way to go. Sometimes you just gotta be able to talk to these individuals on, on a human level, like we mentioned earlier. Um and to provide stability um for for enough time until your deployment's over. Alright, but then the problem normally resurfaces when six months is up and the next set of guys come in and then they try to have their own agenda on the situation, which then in turn has another six months worth of working towards and then it changes again when the next guys get in for a six month tour if you've seen these problems um when you've been deployed to afghanistan please let me know guys because um i've heard similar stories say that you can achieve so much within a six month time frame and then when you go you get the next batch of lads in with a slightly different agenda and it just knocks it all back to square one again let me know if you agree with me or disagree <laughs> 
efter en händelse. Alla når sig av ett rykte att någonting har hänt i byn, någonting har hänt längs vägen, vid bron och vad kan det vara. Det blir ett informationsvak om alla vill veta vad som har hänt. Den första nyheten som kommer ut då är den som kommer att få genomslagskraft. Då är det viktigt för oss att snabbt komma ut med en sanning ändå, exakt vad som har hänt i den här stridskontakten. The police came to arrest him and uh, there was a, a woman uh, in burka opening the door and she said you can't come in because there is someone giving birth in the house. So the police went away. But then they heard again that uh, this Taliban leader or the insurgent leader was supposed to be in the house. And at this time they went into the house. And they found him dressed as a woman. <laughs> I have a picture of him if you want to see it. He was dressed as a woman when they arrested him. So far, uh, 12 leaders have been arrested, 12 insurgent leaders so far. And uh, that is why you can see a lot of army and police in the area. They're trying to do uh, their job as best as they can. Well, uh, 35 bombs has been cleared in the area. And it's very important for us to bring this information to you. So it's interesting then, bit of Chinese whispers going on here. Um, and what they're trying to do is re-establish the truth, guys, before it gets out of hand. And these things can get out of hand in these villages. And it just goes to show the lack of communication within these villages due to a lack of technology is um, something we take for granted in definitely in Europe and um, UK and America and places like such, you know, having the ability to communicate messages quickly and promptly and effectively. Um, whereas these individuals in these little villages haven't got that privilege, guys. So it gets out, word gets out, and the wrong word gets out. And before you know it, everyone believes a false narrative, um, which is going to affect them negatively overall, you know. Det är ju gött bra. Fan vad gött. Vad sa de? Nej, de, var, de lyssnade på varje ord jag sa. Ja. Eh, nu får de, eh, de verkar köpa allt liksom. De har inte hört någonting. Nej. Jag provade den här eh, historien om eh, talibanen i kvinnokläder. Ja. Jag tyckte den var jätteintressant. Efter sex månader på kullen råder det fortfarande delade meningar bland byborna om svenskarnas närvaro. They're going through such difficult times, troops, you know. It's um, it's one of the hardest jobs in the world to try and soldier in that place because uh, although they say try not to have a political agenda associated with your tasks, it, it has got a political agenda no, no matter what you do because you're trying to stabilise an area and the only way you can do that in some cases if you're not allowed to shoot with guns um, is to talk. And to try and persuade these individuals to act in a certain way, but you're trying to change thousands and thousands of years worth of worth of being, worth of culture. It's impossible, Nayon. <laughs> Have you heard about ISAF news? I have read it myself and it's really good. So I'd like to give you this issue. And when you read it, please give it to the others so everyone can share this. If you were a female soldier in Afghanistan, please get in contact with me with me with your experience over there, okay? Because there's one thing you don't see in these documentaries is a lot of female Afghanistan um, nationals, all right? And we understand the cultural and religious reasons behind that. But I wonder how females were perceived by the males in Afghanistan. Were they listened to like they should have been? Were they respected in a way that you would um, that you would expect? I'll be interested to hear the narrative from a woman's point of view because that's something I've never heard before. All right, In the Royal Marines, we only work with men. Yes, there's women associated with us in terms of the Royal Navy, and you'll get female medics associated and attached ranks of females, but 
you know, 99% and 100% of all the guys in Afghanistan at the time were in the Royal Marines were male, uh, minus the attached ranks. So I'd like to hear from you girls. We're helping the police. Well, police have one come at me. God is willing. Inshallah. <laughs> Can't read it. It's another thing we take for granted the education system over there. Over here, rather, compared to the education over there that's not widely available for everyone, troops. It's a shame. It, it is a shame. I think the narrative there then troops is he's pretty much saying something which we hear over and over again it doesn't matter what documentary you watch whether it's a, a war um, documentary in Afghanistan whether it's a peacemaking or, or, uh, documentary in Afghanistan whether it's this documentary it always seems to be nothing changes in the end it all stays the same and the power gets passed about to different groups of people but fundamentally the people of Afghanistan are not at power in their own country it's a shame really individual groups are and they're able to prosper from it and I wish it wasn't the case but it's a reality for all of these people living there unfortunately Tough job, that. We come out to your pair of brave handwind. Don't say the fear. So, guys, we're going to save that one till next time. I'm just going to change my. There we go. Right then, troops. So, another fantastic episode, guys. I can just see that my green screen's going a little bit funny around me, guys. Sorry, the lights changing in the room. But yeah, fantastic documentary this is. I'm really loving the fact that. The, um, we're getting to see a different perspective in Afghanistan from the Swedes. And I just want to thank you all for tuning in, guys. I have massive love from you guys over Sweden. And I just want to give you some back, all right? And I'm hope, hoping that I'm doing this documentary justice troops, okay? Because um, I really want to. I really want to. And, yeah, I'm just going to leave it on this note. I really do respect each and every one of you guys who served, who hasn't served, who has a love for the military and uh, is tuning into this channel because... I never thought that we'd be able to grow as fast in um, such a short period of time. I am hoping that we can push the channel up a little bit further, and I do need your support for that. I need you to be able to like these videos, comment where appropriate, and share the video content, and subscribe to me, guys. Just press that button to subscribe. It really does help. And, um, yeah, if you want to speak to me or anyone else in the community, please drop a comment on the Discord. Discord link is below in the comments bit, in the um, in the about bit, guys, okay? But I'm sure one of our helpful moderators will drop it in the live chat right now. It'll be good to hear from you, troops, okay? If you do want to buy any merchandise from the store, it's going to help us uh, grow a little bit more as well. You can buy the merchandise on the store. The link is below as well. But if you want to see me play some live games, Twitch is the place to be. I will be live on Twitch tonight at some point. So, join the Twitch, guys. All right. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful evening. 
wherever you are or a date aim depending on where you're watching this from but peace guys thanks for watching